I'm Jan Gehl. I am retired professor of urban design. I spent 40 years as a teacher, researcher, professor at the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts School of Architecture. And now I am being retired. I'm of course working full time, but now it's on my, in my uh, consulting company, Gale Architects. We are working on, uh, as urban quality consultants, we call it. And uh, to be brief, we would say that w whichever city wants to be lively, safe, sustainable, and healthy, we can help them. But if you invite properly that people could walk in the city as much as possible, then you, you can see the number of trips go on. And then, of course, the more you use your own movement system to get around on a daily day basis, the more good it is for your health. And then you won't have to jog as a madman in the evening and you don't have to go to fitness centers. One hour of moderate exercise a day um, would actually, as an average, give you seven more years of life expectancy. And, or, or, and, and furthermore, it would reduce the health cost of the nation considerably. What are the potentials of the New York streets and squares and parks? And what are the pr problems? And one of the problems, of course, were that there were hardly any places people could rest or sit down, that the uh, sidewalks were overcrowded, and that the major, there were two major activities going on in New York. One was running along on a sidewalk, and the other was hailing a taxi. Uh, and um, nowhere were benches to be found, hardly any street cafes. So the plan in New York was not only to make it easier to walk and to introduce a bicycle infrastructure and bicycle culture, but also to make a number of public spaces where people could sit down, linger, see each other, where things could happen, whatever. And then, of course, it was obvious to find out that from the traffic point of view, Broadway was not helping the situation. It was actually uh, causing a lot of traffic jams and, and accidents because it was cutting through in that funny angle. And then it was done in a very uh, determined uh, effort by, by the DOT. And people flocked in uh, inside an hour and they have not left it. And they are now working on upgrading the design and making it a first class proper public space. With the meeting of other people, the fact that you can meet your fellow citizens frequently in the, and you come to know who's in your neighborhood and you meet uh, your fellow citizens generally on the squares and streets and you get an idea about what, how this society is put together and that most of them are very nice chaps. That gives you a feeling of belonging and a feeling of safety. Jane Jacobs raised her voice and said, hey guys, if we let these planners and these traffic engineers go ahead as they have started, we will have made all the great American cities dead and instead of they being live.